wars and conflicts are often utilized by top arms exporters to test their new platforms. While importing nations seek for weaponry that will assist them in defeating their adversaries. Weapons such as hypersonic missiles are new generation technologies that are being refined by nations like as China, the United States and India. In March 2022, Russia said it had deployed a hypersonic missile in the Ukraine war. According to Russia, these hypersonic missiles, known as the KH-47M2 Kinzhal hypersonic missile, can attack targets everywhere on Earth, within a short span of an hour. After the announcement, purported video footage of the strike emerged almost immediately. The camera footage suggested that the missile had completely destroyed a big subterranean storehouse that stored missiles. Additionally, aircraft ammunition in the hamlet of Deliaton, located in the ivano frankisk area, was destroyed by this missile. But many Western defense analysts are skeptical of Russia's assertion that the Kinzhal is a true hypersonic missile. Is Kinzhal a genuine hypersonic missile, or is Russia deceiving the world? What are hypersonic weapons? The term hypersonic refers to anything that travels at five times the speed of sound, 6,174 kilometers per hour or faster, in other words, incredibly fast. Speed is crucial because it provides an opponent with less notice and less time to respond. The Kinzhal, on the other hand, travels at hypersonic speeds, but it is not one of these advanced new weapons. Most missiles already travel at this speed. That means all of the ICBMs in the United States nuclear stockpile, all of Russia's Kinzhal missiles, and even Elon Musk's Falcon 9 reusable rockets, share the distinction of being hypersonic. Kinzhal is a ballistic missile that can be fired from two 22M3 bombers or MiG-31K interceptors and can carry conventional as well as nuclear bombs. The Kinzhal has almost 432 times the kinetic energy of a Tomahawk missile, while being three times heavier and almost 12 times faster. According to comments made by the Russian government in 2018, the Kinzhal, which literally translates to dagger, entered active duty in 2017. It is not a brand new weapon, but rather a modified variant of the ground-launched 9K720 Iskander, which is a short-range ballistic missile. The main difference is that the new version has a new guidance system that was developed expressly for air-to-ground operations. The Iskander missile, like the Kinzhal, reaches hypersonic speeds through a quasi-ballistic flight path that never leaves the atmosphere and is able to make course corrections along its entire journey to avoid being intercepted. While the 9K720 Iskander and KH-47M2 Kinzhal are both powerful ballistic weapons, but they are not hypersonic missiles. What distinguishes hypersonic missiles is that they glide in the upper atmosphere and are very maneuverable. All of the intercontinental ballistic missiles in the world's nuclear arsenals are hypersonic, reaching about 15,000 miles per hour, 24,140 kilometers per hour, or about 4 miles, 6.4 kilometers per second at their maximum velocity. But these missiles, like a thrown ball, have very limited options for changing direction once launched. That is, they travel in a predictable path, making it possible to intercept them. So, in reality, the KH-47M2 Kinzhal missile is nothing more than a standard air-launched ballistic missile with a design dating back to the 1980s. Hypersonic speed isn't particularly unique, however there are new weapons that use hypersonic speeds to accomplish goals in novel or distinct methods. The Kinzhal, on the other hand, isn't one of them. Hypersonic missiles are classified into two types, hypersonic glide vehicles, HGVs, which leave the Earth's atmosphere and then re-enter it, gliding through the top layers in a shallow, random sequence of curves and turners designed to trick an enemy's radar, as to their intended target. The second kind is the hypersonic cruise missile, HCM, which although slower, is meant to fly low, yet at extremely high speeds, shocking the opponent and leaving it little time to respond. Hypersonic simply means faster than Mach 5, yet it is frequently connected with revolutionary new weaponry. The technical obstacles for both kinds are enormous. Friction is a significant barrier while flying at these high speeds through the air, with temperatures reaching 2,200 degrees Celsius, 3,990 degrees Fahrenheit. To put this in context, titanium melts at 1,670 degrees Celsius, 3,040 degrees Fahrenheit. 
At hypersonic speeds, air itself becomes the adversary, when it collides with the vehicle, causing enough friction and pressure to damage, or even incinerate most ordinary aircraft and missile components. These missiles must be formed, and constructed from extremely sophisticated materials, intended to resist such extremes. Communication is difficult for these high-value weapons, because the immense heat creates a cloud of supercharged particles, called plasma, surrounding them, which is very difficult for standard radio communications, to penetrate. A similar issue arises for spacecraft, during atmospheric re-entry, and communications are often blocked off during this time. Maneuverability at such high speeds, a major feature of these weapons, puts significant pressure on the missile's construction, and early test versions have actually ripped themselves apart, when trying to navigate a new direction. All of these challenges indicate that, the KH-47M2 Kinzhal missile, has yet to be fully evolved into a hypersonic weapon, instead, it is only a conventional air-launched ballistic missile, with a decades-old design. In other words, Russia needs more resources, to build such weapons. While calling the KH-47M2 Kinzhal a hypersonic missile is technically correct, it is accurate in the same sense as calling Hitler's V-2 rocket a hypersonic missile. Modern hypersonic weapons such as China's DFZF or America's hypersonic attack cruise missile HACM, which is still in development belong to whole other weapon classes.